with any plan or project, there's the renovations that you're planning on doing and the projects that you're anticipating and the money that you're planning to spend. And then once you get into the project, there's the headaches that you weren't anticipating and the money that you weren't anticipating. So we're just gonna share um, some of the things that have been going on over here at the house of or at our project and um, some of the things that have kind of put us behind schedule. The renter had cats in the house and they had done much more damage than we anticipated. The carpet in the two bedrooms upstairs was shredded and needed to be replaced. Each and every door frame in the house had been used as a scratching post for these cats. We ended up having to sand down and repaint all the door trim. The landscaping looked as if it had not been maintained for the previous 11 years the renter had lived there. There were two large queen palms in the corners of the yard they were both dry and overgrown and were too dangerous to keep. We ended up calling the landscaper to take them down. He shimmied up the tree and took down the palms section by section. With the falling leaves came hornets, bees, and even a little bat. So before we moved in, we knew that there was a beehive in the attic of the house. And we thought that the renter had totally taken care of it. She called an exterminator and they came in and um, got all the bees out. And then when we came and did our first walkthrough, um, you can see in the pictures that there was honey in this, in this closet on the ground. And um, it's just been a nightmare from there. So basically the company just came out and got rid of the bees, but not the actual honeycomb. So once the bees weren't there to cool down the honey anymore, Honey just started dripping and oozing down the walls. So we called another company, and um, this has been a nightmare too. Call the right people the first time. But we called some people, and they got over 160 pounds of honey and honeycomb out of the walls and attic of this room. Essentially that it's been a month project in the making. All this right here is drywall and insulation that we that we had to pull out of the closet. Wayne, explain what happened here. So the hive was in this corner. And so you can see the first person that we had come took this out and came in through the top of the roof and then took a section out there. And that's not how people we've talked to since recommend it. Uh -uh. So honey wants to follow the path of least resistance. So once it's dripping, it's coming down. Especially when it's hot. Especially when it's hot, like July in Arizona. So if you have honey up top, come in from the bottom and pull it out, not from the top, because you won't get it all and it'll just continue to drip down the side. So we had honey coming down throughout through the baseboards. And I mean, we, again, you can see in the picture, it was coming out of our light fixture. Insulation and, stuck uh, yes. to the wall. Mm -hmm. So this wall also needs to come out before we can get drywall um, completely put back in here. So that dark stuff is honey. So it probably came down this stud all the way down. So we're going to take that out as well. Because the bees, if they smell honey, They'll come back. Even if they're gone, they'll all come back. Or it'll also attract scorpions, um, ants, grasshoppers. And this is our nursery. This is Bo's room, so we wanted to make sure. And honey. Um, this room. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be his room. No, he won't live in the closet. <laughs> this is part of his closet. This has been a, a headache for sure. Oh, Bo. You think so too, huh? You're tired of the honey. <laughs> 